Hi, in this clip I'm going to describe how, uh, how, how it works the solution uh, to solve uh, secure download URLs with expiration time. I wrote a post entry in my blog about that. Here you have uh, the content of the blog, the schema of the architecture solution, um, blah, 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 some explanations about how it works. And that video that I am recording now will be placed here. Okay. And if you want to see uh, the code developed in this project, you can go to GitHub where you can find some uh, directories, uh, one about Lua and the code and the Lua code. For example, here it is the engine. Okay, then everything is available to be shared with everybody who wants to use that code for anything. Then uh, let me introduce very fast how what what do we want that uh, we want and how it works and then we will see uh, some basic demonstration about how it works then the requirements as i explained in the post entry are uh, we need a url to download uh, some specific files with a limited time then with an expiration date with a unique identifier per customer. Okay, then using that identifier and log entries, uh, we can trace who downloads uh, files and when they downloaded the files, of course. Another requirement is to be simple simple in terms of dependencies, especially because we don't want to have a database to solve that requirement. In the end, the solution is based, is based in this URL uh, pattern. The pattern is really simple. You have your host, uh, your domain in the end, uh, and then the, a signature is generated based on those parameters and a secret seed okay uh, then using that we generate or we create a signature a unique signature that only us can create then it's very useful because when the signature is not valid uh, the url could, couldn't be validated can be validated and then uh, we stop evaluating the URL. Okay, then this is very basic. Other part of the URL are the customer ID, the expiration date itself, and relative path to the file that we want to send. Then imagine that we have uh, a configuration, a simple configuration like that. Uh, remember the configuration is in the lib.lua file. Here is the seed, the secret that we are going to use to uh, create the, um, the signature, the base URL for our test, and uh, the base path of the repository. Okay, then if we go to the repository uh, we have uh, one directory called dir1 if we go inside dir1 we can see example uh, dot uh, txt and then if we see the content it's just a hello okay and don't forget the structure is so simple like that okay then we are going we are going to create, oh, let me see, uh, home, Oreo, apps, nginx, etc, uh, 
it's not like that. It's not like that. Oh, sorry. Ah, here it is. Then uh, we want to to create a unique URL. Okay, for that file, for dir one file. Remember, here it is the file. Okay, then if we require some help, here it is. Then the customer ID, in this case, just for the, the example, a company called Acme. Acme, then we have Acme, the expiration date. Now it's, uh, let me see what's the time. Now it's okay. Then Acme again, and then uh, to do 12 time, uh, for example, 23. Okay, relative path, dear one, uh, what else? Example one dot takes there. Here it is the URL. Okay, uh, we go to the browser. And here it is the content. Okay, then just waiting. Okay, uh, with less than two minutes. Okay, when it's going to be uh, 21, 23. Now it's 21, 21. Okay, uh, the that URL is going to expire. Then it's not going to respond with hello anymore. We can use it using curve if we want. For example, uh, copying that here, and then here you have the content. Okay. Uh, then what else to to get some time to expire the URL? Okay, we can use that uh, in this way. For example, we can say that is really useful when you are testing. Okay, and. Um, then we can go to evaluate some code when we wait for, uh, for example, the get file dot Lua. Here is what is the engine, the, the the algorithm that we use. In the lib file, we only have the the library, the the common used uh, methods or functions. And then we see the first thing that we do is validate the signature. Then uh, we receive the signature from from nginx uh, via that vari variable, and then we evaluate that here. We get the signature here. Okay, this is a real signature needed uh, by the parameters that we have, and then we evaluate if the signature that we have compared with a real signature, it's the same or not. If it's not the same, we return an invalid signature message and then finishes the, 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 the code. Then uh, once we have validated the signature, it's time to validate the expiration time. We get the timestamp for now and then we validate uh, excuse me, we convert the expired date uh, that we receive and we validate that. If it's valid, we keep on working and if it's not valid, we return link expired. Uh, in the other hand, if we, if the field, uh, we, we validate the field exists with that part of the code, and we return the content of the file if it exists. If it didn't, we return not found. Okay, we can see that behavior very fastly. Okay, now the date is expired. 
and if we test that okay link is expired if we go to the browser we reload the page and then link expired okay very well then we are going to try to change something here for example the expired time let me put here 22 23 and reload then the signature is not valid because we changed something then the signature is invalid we keep the same signature at the same timestamp the, the same expiration date excuse me and we change the customer id for example acme2 then invalid signature again okay or we change we keep the same name and we change the file name the problem is the signature not the file itself okay or in the end if we try to keep everything uh, but we change the signature it fails again okay uh, then playing this is the idea okay we can have we we can modify the url to get something else that we want to share this is the idea of the process and this is the idea of the code i think it's well enough explain it with this clip thanks for your time